In this review, we'll explore another artificial intelligence image generation service called Playground, its features, cost, and delve into why it offers two modes, Board and Canvas. Towards the end of the video, I'll share a tip on how to avoid a common mistake when starting out with Playground AI, which I myself almost have made. Subscribe to the channel and let's get started. One of Playground's key features is its ability not only to generate new images, but also to edit them using AI. A brief overview of these capabilities is available on their website. The service allows for the addition of objects and details, as well as the combination of various images using layers. It also can be used to remove unnecessary environmental details. Playground offers a free plan with a limit of 100 generations per day, available without card info. For $15 per month, you'll get a tenfold increase in the amount and some additional features such as faster generation. If you require an even larger limit, consider purchasing the Turbo package for $1.45 with an annual subscription. It's worth noting that the limit is set for 24 hours, and all plans, including the free one, grant you full rights to your work with the option of commercial use. Creating an account on Playground via email is unavailable, which is typical for AI projects with free plans. Therefore, you'll need to register using a Google account. A couple of clicks and we're in the main menu. Let's start with a basic operation and try generating an image right away using the default settings. For instance, let's input the query city skyline at sunset with skyscrapers illuminated by golden light and click generate. The result is quite decent, although there are issues with proportions and lighting. So let's try using the built-in expand prompt feature. As you can see, beneath the new preview, there is a more detailed query based on my original one. The description has become more precise and includes more style requirements and details. And this really helped. The image looks more realistic, shadows, reflections, and other details have appeared. Now, you don't necessarily have to study guides on writing queries to get the desired result. In Playground, the text-based AI will help you explain to the AI image generator what exactly you want to create. Also, note that in Playground, you can specify items or elements that should be excluded from the image. By default, there's a filter set for typical generation errors, such as blurriness or incorrect fingers on people. Let's remove this and see how the result changes. As you can see, the building's geometry has lost its clarity, the sky resembles a brushstroke drawing, and there are issues with lighting, and so on. You can use this function both to remove unwanted elements in the created images and for correction purposes. Playground is overall very flexible in terms of customization, allowing you to set references for images. In the image to image feature, you can upload your image and set its size in the generation process. I'll show you visually how this affects the process a bit later. For my skyscraper sunset query, I uploaded an image with people at a pedestrian crossing and got this result. Now people are crossing the road somewhere between skyscrapers. It's absurd, but it fits the task. If you plan to create images involving people, for example, for showcasing clothing or commercial purposes, I highly recommend exploring the control traits capabilities. This allows you to influence how the person in the photo will be depicted. There are three key characteristics, edge, depth, pose, which are automatically recognized from the uploaded sample. For example, let's take this photo of a man holding his jacket and use it to set the pose, then input a simple query like woman in red dress. Ignoring minor environmental details like the floating lamp, the tool correctly replicated the pose. If you revisit the tool after generation, you'll see that Playground uses recognition similar to that used in 3D modeling, using key anchor points of body parts. For this, like with all other features, you can watch a tutorial video by hovering over the question mark icon. These were the main options for quick image generation. For frequently used settings, there are the presets that allow you to save current options for future use. In the free plan, only three presets are available, two of which are examples. For instance, Let's try the Realistic Portraits preset. Oh, sometimes Playground will run sudden surveys for you like this one. You can answer or skip it, doesn't matter. And here we have four variations of a fisherman fitting the preset prompt. I also tried running the second preset, but all my generations failed. Moreover, Playground overall stopped creating images adequately, and only a page reload helped. Share in the comments if you've encountered such errors. Here, four artificial intelligence models are available. Playground chooses, Playground VTube, 5, Playground, and of course, Stable Diffusion XL. In tests, the latter model showed the best result for short prompts. Additionally, you can generate images in one of several dozen styles ranging from hyperrealism to fantasy and abstractions. For example, here's how the woman in red dress image changes if you change the generation style to mysterious. 
Keep in mind that as this is the free plan, specifying arbitrary image sizes is unavailable. However, Playground will also be interesting to professionals due to its advanced customization capabilities during the generation stages such as prompt guidance, setting the number of iterations, seed, diffusions, the number of variations, and so on. At the bottom of this panel is the private session option, which, when enabled, prevents automatic publication of your work publicly on the Playground homepage. I also want to caution that the Playground content policy prohibits generating images of a pornographic nature, containing calls to violence, incitement to hatred, and other content prohibited in your jurisdiction. However, partial creation of controversial content is allowed under conditions of non-publication, which is only available in paid plans. The link to the content policy will be below this video, as it is located in a rather inconspicuous place on the website. Now, let's move on to Canvas, which is designed mostly for editing new or existing photos. By default, it's set to work in single user mode, but it also supports collaborative work. The results can be saved in a separate file for future reuse. Since this is my first launch, I need to choose the option to create a new file. Just like in Board, upon the first launch, you'll encounter a guide. I also recommend watching the tutorial video. Yes, its duration is almost 20 minutes, but from my experience without it, you'll spend much more time exploring all the capabilities of this tool. The side panel interface of Canvas contains the same tools for image generation as in Board. However, the input field for queries is now located in the center of the screen and is tied to the generation frames. The central part of the screen here is designated for the canvas, with structural units being frames. Accordingly, the generation settings on these panels apply not to all objects on the canvas, but only to the currently selected frame. All those wonderful capabilities from the main page should be implemented in this tool. For testing, I took an image with fruits and berries and tried using it as a reference to have the AI replace them with precious stones. The first query was unsuccessful, probably due to insufficient image strength parameter value. Increasing it to 90 resulted in an actual copy of the original. Decreasing it to 50, I got the desired result. The image style remained, but now various precious stones are in the plate and around it. Let's try using this image to create something new. Let's upload another image with vegetables, which will serve as the main background. Now let's apply the background removal tool, and most of the background disappears although some elements will need to be removed manually. For this, let's use the Eraser tool, as it will allow us to achieve the desired effect faster. Lastly, let's move the frame with the plate onto the frame of the image with the new background. Playground has the ability to work with layer analogs, so let's set Bring to Front to change the display order and it's done. I also decided to check the image generation in a different style based on what I created. Let's call it a still light. With the strength parameter set to 10, I got a girl in the garden at 25, something resembling an anime poster. And at 35, the artificial intelligence turned the contents of the plate back into fruits and berries. Finally, I checked how convenient Playground is for editing images of people, which is crucial in marketing. For this, I took a typical tourist photo of a girl. Canvas has several editing tools for which real-time examples are also available to make it easier for you to choose the right option. With their help, I replaced regular glasses with sunglasses, changed the grey sweater to a green t-shirt, and altered the hairstyle and hair color. I also edited the background by adding other cars and buildings. To compare Playground with Midjourney, I used identical prompts without additional parameters. In the first test, a meaningful sentence was used. As you can see, on the left side, Playground's main problem lies in blurry faces and lanterns hanging in the air. Midjourney was able to overcome these issues and depict people so that their faces weren't in the frame. Next that I use comma separated requirements. Playground has the same errors with lanterns, but the overall appearance is more in line with an urban atmosphere. In the results from Midjourney with the people disappeared and a fairy tale style predominated. In the third test, a simplified query European cafe in the rain was used. In Playground's work on the left, realism began to prevail, although the chair backs are mostly incorrect. Midjourney's works, on the other hand, departed from realism and resemble watercolor paintings. It's worth noting that it better follows the prompt, as it's raining in all the works. And for those who doubt it's a cafe in Europe, Midjourney added the Eiffel Tower to the third image. Also, Midjourney recently introduced new features, one of which is Bari, region, which allows you to change a specific part of the image. Considering its similarity to the canvas tool from Playground, I decided to compare their effectiveness as well too. Here's the original image a girl in a white top holding a cocktail. Using the InPaint tool, I attempted to change her clothes to a yellow t-shirt, and here's what I got. 
Now compare this with how Midjourney handled this situation. It's worth noting that unlike Playground, it attempted to retain the cocktail in her hand. However, in all four variants from Midjourney, it's a yellow top, not a t-shirt. Despite the abundance of hints and tutorial videos, you'll need to spend several days before mastering its capabilities to achieve the desired results in the shortest time possible. Otherwise, instead of speeding up and simplifying your creative process, you'll spend additional time editing. For example, during Canvas testing, it was revealed that the AI struggles with defining long hair boundaries. The shown result was achieved approximately on the 10th attempt, and even then, you might have noticed processing artifacts on the right side of the image. In another test, I attempted to change the background of a photo depicting a group of people, but due to the inaccuracy of my query, the result turned out mediocre. Therefore, Playground, whether free or for a small price, can become an indispensable tool for artists and marketers, but only if you take some time to understand and master all the peculiarities of this AI model. Finally, don't mix up two similarly named products when searching for Playground. In this review, I discussed Playground.com from the USA, not its competitor, Playground.ai. Then consider your prompts carefully to get the most out of Playground and other AI image generation systems.